right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared, I guess um, how important is the, the start of today's game considering how, I mean, teams are usually going to come out pretty fast after they get blown out like last game? Yeah, it's going to be important. Same as game one. I think uh, you want to get out and play in your game, play to our identity right away. Last game, that meant skating, relentless puck pursuit. It has to be the same here tonight because we know we're going to get their best game. I mean, uh, coming out of that, they've got the extra day of rest now. They've regrouped. They're but they're. Uh, you know, ready to come after us here, and they know it's an important game, and as do we. So at the start, it'll be really important. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Jared, you kind of touched on this the other day, but uh, if you could just talk about the importance of getting your second line some more scoring. Yeah, I mean, I've liked our depth scoring through the playoffs. Obviously, our top line has really led the way and got us some real good starts so far here in the playoffs through five games. Um, but I'm not disappointed in our other lines either. They played well the other night. We had some good ozone times, some good looks. We had sod score again. I think, I think we're getting the contributions that we need to win hockey games, and that 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 has to continue. Whether that's a, every night or uh, every second night, but we we need our whole lineup. And I liked our, our game throughout. You know, all six D and twelve forwards that played the other night played well, and uh, has to continue here tonight, especially with the game we're going to see from Vegas tonight. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Jonas Donskoy. Mike Chambers, Denver Post. Hey, Jonas. Um, obviously, that top line has been really good for you guys, uh, including game one. But if you could just talk about the uh, need of depth scoring in game two and moving forward at even strength. Yeah, I mean, they've been obviously feeling it. They've been good pretty much every game in, in these playoffs. And, and uh, they're creating scoring chances. They're scoring goals. Um, just being on top of the game, so that's we need that. It's it's been amazing to see. But like you said, we need we need more depth scoring, and and uh, still still feel like especially our line haven't really created much. So you know we've been talking about it a lot, and and uh, just trying to get better here every day. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Hi, hey, Anis. I uh, I wanted to ask about your fellow Finn Samparanta. I guess what did you you think of his debut? How did you think? he did and what's it been like getting to know him these past few weeks yeah he's a he's a good guy i, I like him a lot you know he's uh he's learning all the time he's he's listening he's, he's trying to get better and, and uh the first game i think he did he did good you know he was he was uh skating hard he was battling so i think i think he did good in his first game so so yeah always nice to have more things lauren jabara altitude sports Hey, Jonas, uh, Jared said that he loved that you guys played to your identity there during game one. What did you like about your team's play? And you know you're going to get Vegas' best game tonight. What are you expecting uh, from them tonight? Well, there was a lot of good things. I don't want to break down to details too much, but obviously we were good offensively, you know, uh, scored a lot of goals. So uh, that was enough to win the game. But tonight it's 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 going to be a whole, whole new game again. You know, I think they'll – They'll be better tonight, and, and we have to we have to be better as well to, to be able to get a win tonight. Hi, right, Graham, Associated Press. Hey, thanks for taking the time. I was just curious, you know, uh, you guys did a great job in game one of just maintaining your focus and not trying to get caught up in what they're trying to do. How do you maintain that focus and, and just concentrate on what you need to do? Well, I think that's been the strength of our team whole, this whole year, I think. You know, we, we're just focusing on playing. You know, we know, we know what the – have to do to to win these hockey games so i don't think you know getting into that stuff too much is it's, it's gonna help us so we're just focusing on playing last one here for Jonas peter Baugh, the athletic yeah Jonas, what makes from what you've seen so far what makes brandon sod such a dynamic postseason player uh i feel like you just know every time he goes on the ice what you're gonna get you know he's super solid you know, making good decisions with the buck Super strong on the back in the offensive zone. Um, it's kind of 
is able to find those little holes to score goals. Um, you know, getting tips, getting open in front of the net, um, and and he has some skills to score some goals. So so he's obviously a big player for us. All right, thank you, Jonas. Thanks. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward JT Comfer, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hi, JT. Especially with how much you controlled last game, how do you expect Vegas to come out tonight, and, and how important will the start be to the game? Yeah, I mean, we know that they're going to want to bounce back. They probably didn't like the way they played in game one. And, um, you know, I think in our locker room, we're worried about ourselves and our start. We want to make sure we're coming with the same speed and attack mentality that we had in game one. Any other questions for JT? All right, thanks, Kyle. Bye.